All right, everyone, welcome to a brand new series on the channel, Splinter Cell Conviction. Now, this came out, I believe, back in 2009, 2010-ish. I did play the demo back then, but I never owned the game. So this is a blind walkthrough to me, although I did play Double Agent. I did own that back in 2006. Uh, no, 2007, early 2007, I believe. So I am sort of familiar with the, Tom, the Splinter Cell games. But outside of that, never really played it. But, um, yeah, be sure to show this new series some love. And without just getting any more long-winded, let's do it. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. She was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. Set him up, turned him loose, and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left at Echelon, left the life he knew. Left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually, he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name, and he found somewhere to go looking. A city all right. called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept this. Compliments of the Sam. Who is this? How do you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude and you can get moving. Still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. Everybody leave! Get the fuck out of here! Alright, let's go. I said get the fuck out! Smash! Good. Now let's get you a little closer to those targets and light up. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage stand. Make it there, and I might be able to help you out. I don't like you now, you're freaking back up. Put the guys on, huh? I'm there. You think of that? Hang on. I'm tapping into the city's power yeah. grid. That'll let get me overload the transformers near you and blow here. out those lights. Now. All right. Uh oh, flashback. Now this takes place, I think, uh, three years after Double Agent, and I did play that, but it, I, I remember 
I think you had went rogue or something like that. It's very uh, fuzzy because that was so long ago. What's wrong? There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go yeah. to sleep with the light on. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. Yep. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? Shh. Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's going to shut the door and I'll be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Shh. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. That shit that you hide? Well, fuck you! You think you're a badass? You and me? Man, we're just getting started. Come on, show yourself, fucker! We know what you did, you bastard. We'll get you. Oh, so that's how you Come zoom. On, show yourself, fuckface! Shithead! Time to stop hiding! He just... You don't want to fight me, Fisher? Asshole! What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Yeah, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou easy. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now Shit. you're talking. <laughs> I forgot you could do that. Dad, what did you do to them? I haven't played Splin Sir, a Splinter Cell game. Dog. Since what Sam. are you doing, Daddy? Almost what ten you years. Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Yeah. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramkos, a local street-level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. Shit. This 
suspicious guy's smart. Probably ran out the back end of the market, left us here like thumbs over. Nah, no, no. back's all blocked up. He's gotta come from here. Hopefully before we die of old age. What the hell is he hiding anyway? Jewelry stand, maybe? Nah, not enough cover. He's gotta be somewhere around here. Probably someplace close. If he was close, we'd see him. We'd take him out. Get that reward. Cover me, you rock, man! You gotta kill him! Forget it, guys! We're <laughs> not going Where are you going? I know everything about this game is pretty much dated, but I'm still having a good time. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I just enjoy the nostalgic bliss. This game is almost 10 years old. Looking for me, asshole. Come on, playing around. Who sent you? Fuck you! Oh! Okay, enough. You want to know who sent me? It's Corbin. Andre Corbin. <coughs> Runs drugs, guns. Anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Coben want me dead? If I talk, you'll kill me. If you don't talk, Sam will kill you. So you're just caught between a rock and a hard place, buddy. He, he drove the car that hit your daughter. Used to brag about it, you know? Uh, heard you were coming, so he hired me to, to kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not gonna tell him a damn thing. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Coben's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Sam knew. Coben was in there, and that he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in, no matter what. <laughs> if you saw somebody open the door crouched like that, what would you guys do? I'd freak out. Watch out. Watch out. I'd be tripping. Is this guy crazy? Yeah. Hey. I remember seeing like a video, Sam Fisher versus uh, Snake. Oh. 
Okay, we gotta get in somehow. Big screw attack does. They they do really good videos like that, like fancy matchups. See ya. Okay. Matter of fact, I think this is the level from the demo. It's been so long, don't quote me on that. Let someone else dump them. I guess that's something. Who are these assholes anyway? I don't know. CIA or KGB guys or something. Uh, they're, they're part of the Russian gate. Colvin cleaned them up. Colvin cleaned up secret agents. They missed the hit on Fisher at the market. I guess it's up to us now, man. Man, did you see that list of men? Colvin wants. Who's gonna come looking for these guys? You guys are fine, Colvin. Get anything off the bus? No. Fingerprint ID. Oh, we'll be meeting with him very soon. Pick up no weapon with no sounds. Oh, unless it's a D switch weapons. Come here, show yourself. We don't 
Wait, shit, you're fucking dead, man! Eat it, finger! <laughs> I bet you it's an achievement to go through here and not get seen at all. Boy, do we fail that miserably. I'm here, man. Oh, that's fucking great. Thanks, asshole. Pick up a darn scorpion. Where's my... I made a mistake and dropped my darn gun. Sure. Turns out you're just a pussy. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, so down is I didn't even know that. Real bad. Shit, we have to find Fisher. Huh? We gotta find this guy before he breaks the stupid museum down. So you <laughs> dude's gotta be over there somewhere. Point at the wall. Die! Yeah, you better hide, Fisher. Fucking coward. Go. Fuck, fuck me. Tobin's gonna pay up big when I put a bullet in you, Fisher! Sometimes, you just have to do things the hard way. Yep. years old and when the lights go out it's creepy as shit and there's these noises it's an old building old buildings make noise but lots of people died here <laughs> what the <laughs> you should be able to mark more than two targets maybe it is an upgrade you can get to those uh executions but if not i, I do still understand because the game would be too easy, you know what I mean? You just walk around, <laughs> taking out all the rooms. 
son of a bitch is going to come through that door, and we're going to blast him when he does. Boss, what if he comes through the window? Then you shoot him. What kind of fucking stupid question is that? You get this straight. Nobody is going anywhere until Fisher is dead. Until he shows up, all you got to do is shut up and get ready to shoot. Are we clear? Yeah, boss. I said shut up! Easy there, boss. Don't tell me to take it easy. I'm ready. Are you idiots ready? I'm ready. I'm ready right now. <laughs> I'm gonna come straight in through the, the front anyway. Turn that out. Something about my daughter. Oh, God, no. I was just messing with you, man. I didn't mean it. I swear I didn't mean it. Then make it up to me. Tell me uh, why you killed her. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. Oh, oh the piano. It was just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job. They isn't good enough. Who are you working for? I can't tell you. I'm still working for them. They'll gut me if I tell you. the ones you should be worried about right now. You don't kill them, Fisher! They're bigger than you! They're bigger than me! Don't you see? Jeez. They told me you were coming! Drop it, Fisher! Drop it down if you won't be hurt! Sam, we need food. to go with them. The hell I do. Please, you have to trust me on this one. If you're talking to the Ice Queen, Fisher, I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. What took you so fucking long? Don't move! Hands in the That's air! It, Fisher. Don't let me nice and easy! Man, this is Ghost Hawk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. All right, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup, I'll be 
happy when we drop off Sleeping Beauty. So will Reed. I saw his people out by his chopper ready to go. He's probably impatient. Look, Colonel Prentice, I got us here as fast as I could. Yes, you did, Oscar. Tom Reed's just not a patient man. Uh, Colonel, I don't mean to be pushy on this one, but I do need to talk to you about my pay. I was told Coburn was handling that. Well, yes, sir, but since there were these changes, you see, extra passengers with extra gear and a longer flight plan. Tell you what, Oscar. Take it up with Colonel Reed. He'll take care of you. It was clear someone wanted to talk to Sam. That's why they went to all the trouble of setting him up with Coburn's. That's why they tranked them and flew him back home. They needed him docile when they offloaded him at their private airstrip up in the Blue Ridge, because if they hadn't, he would have taken that place upon with his bare hands. He's awake. Fuel is at three, man. Colonel Prentice. Major Robertson, we don't, we don't have, have time, time to chat. To chat. Our, Our timetable time says your men need to move. Everything's operational, Director Reed. We start deploying at 900 hours this morning. Good, Good. Keep, keep things going on your end. end. I'm heading back to third Good. echelon to prep things there. Oh, our people would be just fine. Never had any doubts. Now, gentlemen, if you'll excuse us, I need a minute with Miss Grimm's daughter here. There's a loose end that needs tying off. Of course, Major. Right. Fisher's all yours, Anna. You packaged him for us in Malta, you get to unwrap him here. Find out what he knows about the EMPs, how he knows it, and why he's been hunting our friend Mr. Coben. Might take a while, Tom. He's been trained to resist interrogation. I'm authorizing you to use whatever persuaders you need, chemical or otherwise. Get the answers, and dispose of them. Just don't be as messy this time. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Anything else? Just, Just get, get to, to it. it. And call me when you have something. I'll be at HQ. Listen to me. I'm working for President Caldwell as a mole inside third echelon. Reed's the new director, and he's working hand-in-hand -hand with our hosts here, a PMC called Black Arrow. They're running a pipeline for stolen Russian EMP tech through Malta, and Reed's stonewalling any kind of investigation into it. Reed's stonewalling the president. He's got serious political coverage from somewhere, and the president isn't getting anywhere through channels. We know they're in the final stages of prep for something very ugly, but what we don't know is what it is or where it's going down. Really? Then again, you seem more interested in field work these days. Stop it. I need you to do this. The second I make a move, my cover is blown. But you're on the outside now. You are free to act. I don't do this sort of thing anymore. Tell that to the men you killed in Malta. Now, if you don't make it look like you escaped and attacked me, I'm dead. So make it look good, Sam. Hit me. Do what you have to do. Grim, let me remind you, I'm out of the game. You're not out. All it took was one hint about her. Only one hint about Sarah, and you dove right back in. What do you know about her? I know she's alive. How's that for starters? You're lying. Dead. Lambert told me she was dead, and I take his word over yours. She's alive, Sam, and I know where she is. I've known all along. You're lying. Why should I believe you? Because my people have her. If you help me, you get to see her again. If you don't, it's out of my hands. Do not lie to me about this, or I'll kill you. You understand me? I will kill you! Sam, I've been lying to you about this for years. Okay. I...
Okay, that'll do. Good work. Shut up. Here. <laughs> My car's just outside their security gate. It's a red T-208. I disabled the GPS locator chip so Third Echelon's birds can't find it. And take this snake cam. It's linked with this phone. The signal's encrypted. In case you get lonely. So I can set up a call with Sarah to prove to you that she's alive and unharmed. Now we need to get you out of here without them coming after you. C4 should help with that. There's some right outside. Get it and call me back. I don't get the gun. Just point it at the right people. Oh, I will. All right, guys, and we're going to stop it here for today. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Splinter Sail Conviction. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you like the episode, drop a like and subscribe to help the channel and the series grow. Thanks for that support. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.